frame to Mr. Lawson 72 and pallet convertible that we're doing an amazing job on at BTSV Auto. Uh, we have a location that we got a uh, suspected goodies and I got the head honcho himself, Mr. Rich here, to double check if this metal is the metal that we're looking for. So guys, stay tuned. If you have a car that you want us to do any uh, gold hunting for, or treasure hunting, we are your treasure hunting experts. Let's see how good this treasure is, guys. BTS Viado. Body still being on it, we still gonna have to lift it up off of the frame to kind of get a true inspection of it. But just from the front part of it, the surface rust, we could send that in once Mr. Rich disassembled the whole frame. We could send the frame in, get it stripped, prepped almost as if he was gonna powder coat it. Don't powder coat it, we'll get it back, put it in etching primer, and then go from there. You know, all of the upper control arms, the lower control arms. All of the suspension components will be replaced with new stuff. You got Mr. Rich, got, I mean, Mr. Lofton has all of the QA1 front and rear coilover kit, so none of that will be used. We just want the structural part of it to be, uh, you know, good enough without a lot of rust. it out but I mean all the body mount poles I could see was solid the rails in the front was solid it's got open side rails because it's a coupe but we're gonna box it anyways and that'll make that nice and solid with nice eight and plates uh, rails on the inside send it out get it blasted and we'll put the rail plates in that way it's nice and clean we can rust proof the inside weld the plates on with the weld with the primer and be solid as a rock But look, but look at this here, Mr. Lawson. Check this out. You still see the whole uh, damn that look like they got new bushings almost, yeah. but you can see that it's intact, it's not bigger, rotted. The problem was when it was rotted out bigger than the circumference of the bushing. You know, on the old ones, we'll show you that it's, it's probably a three inch opening, but you can still see the bushing is in still good shape uh, right yeah. there. Yep. Ain't no bushes out at one point. That's what I said. The bushes look brand new. Bushes ain't no damn 40. They ain't no 40-some-year-old bushes. Not those. Well, that's, that's not 50. the ones we looking at. Actually, that's 50. They're like 50-some-year. 50 51, right? Yeah. 50 some year old bushes. Yeah, good. Yeah, the frame is good. Yeah. Yeah. Look, and look at, look at this new absorbers here. Yeah. The, 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 the stops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody did a little work to it. Yeah. Look. Rubber. Got rubber. Got yeah. Right? Got yeah. decent I still want, you know, I got a feeling you might want to do some later on. Hey, YouTube, I want to introduce a real important guy. This is Mr. Lofton, man. I call him a big brother. He's kind of in the place where I want to be at. He's the owner of a, a humongous commercial construction company in Clearmont. Owner of the 72 Impala in the back convertible. Tell him the name of the company one time before we go. New Horizon Construction Service. Commercial general contractor here in Central Florida. Our building it's 6,000 square foot. Mr. Lawson, what, how many square foot is the building y'all got out there? 
forty thousand square foot facility that we own. Yeah, so that's so I, you know sometimes they say if you be in the circle, you eventually become one. You know, so we we try to get to forty thousand. But big shout out, Mr. Lofty guys. All the customers that support VTS Viano, if I could give you a hug right now, I would, but I'm a little dusty right now. You see my guy clean. <laughs> and we got a spare chassis. But one thing I was scared about, I was scared when Mr. Rich coached me up. Like, the chassis up front would be different with a six, with a 73, is a which is totally wrong. It's a different animal. It's a diff, a whole nother chassis, and then 74, 75 is different too, because they got the gas pistons in the back. So 71, 72 is the only one that would have worked, and we find the 71 that was clean. So I want you guys to stay tuned with the next phase, fitting all the suspension parts. Once we get everything fit, Mr. Rich give us a thumbs up. We're going to blow it all apart, send the chassis out, get it popped, get it stripped, and then we're going to break it back and let Red do a little Midas touch to that. So we got some goodies set up for y'all. I'm getting excited. This is the next phase. It's real big too that we had to have this frame to do the next phase with Mr. Lofton car, which is mating it to the chassis. If you remember that we did the such uh, wide tubs because we're gonna do a, a tricky offset on the wheels and get a fat wheel bite in the back. But because of that, this frame channel right here, if you come in, has to be moved because of the wheel tubs being in. So now that we got all of this, we could bolt the car up. You see how the wheel wheel comes flush here. So if we took this wheel well in, let's say an inch and a half, if you had a tire that went in, it'll touch. So we are definitely gonna be able to do it the right way, strengthen it up, give it more strength than what it have now, but also, you know, give it a facelift to where we can accommodate a 12 inch wide wheel, what we're trying to do in the back, so. I said, Mr. Rich, can we go ahead and build a, the, the, the frame in the car? He's like, yeah, Vicky, kinda wanna do it on the chassis. Let's just get it bolted to the chassis, so. Now we got the chassis here, and, and, and the thing about Mr. Lofton, he don't play anything that you could have had, he already have, so we don't gotta look for the, the body mount bushings, we got the bolt, so it's just a matter of us getting it detached from the chassis and marrying the new body to the new chassis, even in its rough form, you know, but we're gonna bolt up all the new suspension parts, so we'll totally disassemble this one. We got, if you turn around and just show the camera, all of this stuff right here are goodies for it. You know, every, you know, the only problem we'll use is a square perimeter. So we got upper and lower control arms that are QA1 designed for the uh, coil over suspension that'll give us the ride height adjustability and the, the modern drive feel of the suspension. You can see he already bought a, a, a motor rear end, you know, probably a 35 spline. Um, brakes and everything, so we're gonna go crazy on this one. We got it all, and we'll actually give y'all our opinion of the QA1. We got the full front and rear set up. We're gonna install it all. We're gonna see how everything fits. So we'll be able to give you a good feel of, you know, what we got going on um, with, with all of the parts, you know, a numerous of companies that we're using to build this brand, you know, build this car up. So you guys can kind of get an idea. Like, I, I like to know how things fit, it's no, fitment videos of the QA1 on this car. So we're gonna be able to put it all together and tell you if we like it or not. We also get Global West, we're a dealer Global West too, so we, we did that on D's car, if you back up to that. So, you, you know, just give us, you know, give us a little minute, man. We got some more good videos that's gonna make your mouth water when you see it, man. Like your mama cornbread, you understand me? Like your grandmama macaroni and cheese. It's gonna make your mouth water, champ. <laughs> hey! Yes, we all do. Make it happen. <laughs> Stay tuned! Stay tuned! Stay tuned! Stay tuned.